everyone. Welcome to your sixth online music lesson. I'm Miss Digger. Last week we talked about high and low pitches and I asked you to go around your house or outside or just use your imagination to draw or take pictures of things that you heard that made high and low sounds. So thank you for those of you who did that activity. This week we're going to be reviewing our dynamics. Remember, dynamics means how loud or how soft the music is. So we learned at least four dynamics in music class. And here they are. The first one was forte. Do you remember what forte means? So forte means the music is loud. So can you say forte? Good job. Second dynamic that we learned was piano. And piano means the music is soft. Can you say piano? Nice work. Third dynamic we learned was crescendo. Do you remember what that means? So it means the music goes from quiet to loud. So it sounds like this. Crescendo! Your turn. And our last dynamic, decrescendo. Remember, it kind of looks like a backwards crescendo. It means from a loud to quiet. So it sounds like this. Decrescendo. Your turn. Nice work. So right now we're gonna play a guessing game. I'm gonna play you some sounds on my piano and you're gonna tell me what you heard. If you think you heard forte, piano, crescendo, or decrescendo. So here's your first one. Turn on your listening ears. All right, make your guess. Which one did you think it was? And the answer is, that was a piano dynamic. So that was soft. Okay, let's listen to our second one. Okay, make your guess. And the answer is, that one was Decrescendo. So it went from loud to soft. Let's listen to another one. Okay, so which one did you think that one was? The answer is that was forte. Remember, forte means the music is loud. And last one, let's listen one more time. Okay, make your guess. And that one was a crescendo. So it went from quiet to loud. So I hope you got all of those. Up next, we're gonna be playing a little game that uses dynamics. So hold on just for one moment. This week, we're gonna be reviewing the song Closet Key. Now, I know you all remember it. We've played it a lot in music class and it's a fun game because it uses dynamics to help you find things. So before we get into the game, let's just review the song. And I've brought, my, brought out my xylophone to help us. Here we go. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. Now sing with me. Here we go. I have lost the closet key. work. I'm sure you all remember that song. Now, just in case you've forgotten, here's how to play the game. So if you are helping someone find the key, you have to change the dynamic of your voice to help them find it. So what in your family, you would choose one person to be it, and they're going to cover their eyes while you hide the key. Then when they've opened their eyes, you're going to sing the song over and over again. And remember, if they're getting really close to the key, you are going to crescendo getting louder. And if they're right by the key, you would sing forte. Make sure they know that they're close. But if they get farther away from the key, they're walking the wrong direction, then you would decrescendo and get really soft. And if they're really far away, you would sing piano. And the person who's looking for the key has to listen to the music. If the music gets really forte, then you need to stop 
and look around for the key. Now, of course, for the key, you can use anything you have around the house. In music class, we always used in, uh, a whiteboard marker, but you can use anything. You could use a real key even if you wanted to. The challenge with keys is they're actually very small and a little bit hard to find. So remember, if you're singing the song and your mom or dad or your brother or sister is really far away, you're gonna sing piano like this. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. And if they're right there, right next to it, I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. Then you need to sing forte to let the person know that they are close. So your job this week is to teach someone the song and the game. And hopefully if you can, if you have enough people in your house, you can take turns and everybody can have a different turn hiding the key and finding it. And I'd love to see a video of you playing the closet key. It's one of my favorite games from music class and it would make me so happy to see you playing a music class game at home. So that's it. Don't forget to review your dynamics and play this game this week. Take care and I'll see you next week.